Good morning, dear friends. It is so nice for us to be together again and we praise God for his faithfulness, for enabling us to continue this program three days a week. And I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you give yourself a few minutes to be in the presence of God, to listen to the voice of God through his word. And I pray that your spirit will be blessed and you shall be uh, anointed by the Holy Spirit even as he anoints me to speak the word and he will anoint you to listen to the word and understand. And may today's meditation be your inspiration and your encouragement for today. Today's meditation is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, a very familiar verse to all of us. It says, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. And those who accept Jesus Christ by faith as Lord and Savior in response to the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ becomes new creatures in Jesus Christ. They are now new creations. The old things that used to dominate us is all gone now. Now there is a new king to rule over us. This experience is called new birth. That's why it is called you are a new creation. How does it happen? You know, there is a process. In this process, as you hear the gospel preaching, you are convicted by the Holy Spirit of your sins and are convinced that Jesus Christ is the Savior. And this conviction of sins causes you to repent. Repent sincerely of all your sins and asking God to have mercy on you and cleanse you and make you a new creation. And uh, repentance thus causes or makes you uh, to receive the forgiveness from God. And remember, every sin we commit is a sin against God in the first place. Because every sin is a breaking of a law that God has given mankind to obey and enjoy life in its fullness. And so repentance makes way to forgiveness from God. By cleansing and washing with the blood of Jesus Christ, and he shed his blood for this purpose, to cleanse you all together and make you so clean that you are a new uh, creation. Now, it is the removal of everything uh, which makes us unclean, making our characters blacker, darker, and repulsive to a holy God. And uh, unclean, unholy, ungodly, with a darker and blacker character, an abominable nature, producing a hellish laughter with a sensual look, with an evil intention, dominated by demons, producing a diabolical uh, action, causing terror of a darkness and hell bound all around us. This is the result of uh, an unclean, sinful life. That's why that forgiveness has to be obtained which results in our being cleansed by the precious, sinless, innocent blood 
of Jesus Christ. Everything changes when in response to repentance, Jesus comes to live within us and be the Lord and the King of our lives. And let us make it personal. Everyone should be able to say, Jesus is mine, is my Lord and my Savior. With a new life and a new nature, uh, with a, a new desire for holiness and holy living. New habits, new love, new songs, new friends, new fellowship, and a new look, the new walk. In this new life, I am, a, I am no longer the master of my life. I am born again to be a servant to serve, to serve God by serving mankind. And I took a U-turn, leaving the path which leads to death, and now walking the way which leads to, 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 uh, which leads to life. It is the way to holiness. It is a way to righteousness. It is a way to love and purity. It is a way of faith. It is a way of holiness and Christ-likeness. And when you possess that Christ-likeness and uh, holy, uh, holy living, you are altogether a new creation. There is no trace of anything old. Making you and me to be like Jesus. And when we see him in the rapture and look at him, we too shall be like him. We become reflections of what Jesus Christ is. And uh, when we see him face to face, and, and the glory of his face and the radiant brilliance of his facial expression will affect us so much that we shall be transformed to be like Jesus himself. That's what the scripture says. And yes, it is uh, from then on, we have to walk in this life. And the Bible says it is a narrow and a straight road. And, and that, but this narrow and a straight road in which only few walk, and it leads to the highway to eternal life with Jesus Christ. And that is where we end up. From this temporary dwelling place called earth at present, dominated by the devil and his principles, which are very hellish. But the highway, the way to the highway of life with Jesus Christ, here it is narrow and straight. But once we arrive there, we arrive in the broadness of life eternal with Jesus. This is what God has prepared for us who want to change and be transformed into a new creation. In order to make it possible, Jesus came and uh, he came for what? He came for the purpose of going to the cross to shed his blood for our redemption. And it is finished salvation for all mankind is accomplished. The way is opened now. Anyone may now come to Jesus 
and they begin to walk in this straight path and find the rest in Jesus Christ. Come to the highway to holiness. Highway to life forever. And a highway to heaven. Where we meet Jesus and be like him. Jesus is the way, the truth and life. There is no other alternative. This is the only way to holiness which leads us to live in the presence of a holy God and may the Lord grant you his grace even today if any one of you listening to this you do not know the joy of having a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ through whom we come to God Almighty and he leads us and he goes ahead of us because he knows the way. And one of these days, Jesus will personally come back again to take us to where he is, to live with him forever. Amen. I pray that the grace of God will enable you to experience this new life. And those of you who are already walking in this way, see that your way will not be darkened by unbelief or disobedience, but to walk in obedience, walk in the purity of life and in holiness, and your God will never abandon you. And he will strengthen you, give you victory over temptations and testing of life. God be with you today as you live for his glory. Amen. This is a great day. Have a wonderful day and be used of God. God bless you.